Hey G Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is In Worth It. So today's episode, we got this cool image right here. And basically what this is, is a UV Floodlight Cam 2 Pro. So you see this is what the product looks like when you guys first get it. So they mentioned how it actually allows you guys to pan and tilt the actual product in terms of the length that's on here or the camera. The video quality that's on here is 2K. It has 3000 lumen and it actually gives you guys free local storage. When you guys look at the site, they probably got some specs and features that's on here. And you guys can control all of that on the UV security app. If you guys look at the back, they probably got some more specs and features that's on here. It also gives you guys the option to use voice assistant like Alexa or Google Assistant if you guys do want to. And obviously for the one that we got right here is a brand called Yifei Security which is under the Anchor brand. So first thing I should open up to show you guys what the product looks like. So once you guys open up, this is what the product looks like inside. So you see how it's all well protected, but let's take it out first. So first thing inside right here, they probably got a little box. Let's open up to see what's included inside. So when you guys open up, there's a lot of stuff inside. Let's take it all out. So inside, they probably got the quick starter guide to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. They probably got the sticker that you stick around your house. So that way people know that you guys are protected using a UV security product. And then right here, they probably got a bunch of tools and accessories to actually install it and set it up. Right here, they probably got the cable that you can use to probably charge up the product, which is USB to micro USB. And right here, they probably got some kind of cloth or something they probably use to wipe it down or actually cover it. I'm not exactly sure what this is for, but they do probably got this option. And that is everything that's included in the small little box. If you guys notice, they don't probably got like a wall charger or even like a screwdriver. So you do need to use like a wall charger to actually recharge it. And you probably need a screwdriver to install it. But for this test, I'm not gonna install anything. I'm only gonna show you guys how to actually set it up and how to use it, all right? So once you guys take it out, this is what the product looks like. So you see how everything is all nicely wrapped up the light panels and also the camera as well. And right here, we do have the wiring that you probably need to set it up onto your electrical box, etc. Now you see right here, we do have the indicator light to show you guys when it's on and off. Right here, we do have the speaker. Top out right here, we do have the button for you to press to open it up like this. So I'm pull it all the way up. So just like that, if you guys want to. Once you have it done, you have to close it back up. And outside, we do have the slot for you to plug in the cable right here. So it's open up. That's what the inside looks like. So you unplug in the micro USB cable and press the sync button when you guys are ready to connect it and pair it. And when you guys are done, you have to close it back up and make sure it's completely sealed. So that way the product is waterproof. So that way if you guys get water on here, it should be fine. And when you guys feel the overall weight of the product, it is pretty heavy. So when you do it set it up, you have to make sure everything is set up correctly so that way it won't fall down. But still have all the different wrappers on here first to show you guys what she looks like. So the tape that's on here is actually pretty tight. And when you guys do set it up, you don't want to look directly onto the light because it might hurt your eye. All right, so once you guys take off the tape on the light panel, this is what it looks like. So for the light panel, they do give you guys the option to move it around like this and move that way as well, this way. Same thing for this side. And if you guys want to bring it out, you guys want to loosen up the bottom part here and right here as well. So once you guys loosen it, they have to move it this way. So just like that. You can definitely lock it right there if you guys want to. Once you guys lock it, you can move it up and down this way. Same thing for the other side. All right. So definitely play around with the angles on here to what you guys want. But definitely really cool how to give you guys the option to adjust it how you guys want to in different angles. So maybe if you guys want one light in one direction and the other one in the other direction and one in the front or up and down, left and right, you can adjust it how you guys want to. But now let's take out the bottom part right here. So once you guys take it out, that is basically what the product looks like. You can see the lens or the camera inside and they do have the little cover in the outside to protect the lens. And I believe when you guys do connect it, you need to connect this part here to electrical box. But I'm actually plugging the micro USB cable to see what it actually works without the actual cable. All right, so I don't plug it in. Once you guys plug it in, you can see a red light that pops on right there. So I'm actually trying to connect this onto the UV security app to see what actually works. All right, so it looks like it does work because the lens moved. But here is the app that you want to download, which is the UV security app. So you're going to click an add device on the top left corner. Once you guys do that, you will see the screen right here. So you're going to look for the device that's have. So in this case, it will be the Flat Light Cam Pro. And it will tell you guys to scan the QR code, which is in the bottom of the device. So we're going to open this part right here. And right underneath right here is a QR code, so you want to scan it. Once you guys do that, they probably got instruction to teach you guys how to set it up. So they recommend how you want to put this outdoor before you guys set it up. But just for this test, I'm gonna set up right here to show you guys what she looks like, or probably in a different room. Once you guys do all that, it'll tell you guys to click on the sync button. So you guys wanna press and hold the sync button for two seconds until you guys hear a beep. So it's right here in the back. All right, so once you guys hear the beep, and you guys see the flashing light blue right here, then click on next, and now connect it on the camera. And it'll tell you guys to connect it onto 2.4 wireless network. Connecting to the Wi-Fi network, please wait. Setup was successful. All right, so we got it all set up. 
and I'll tell you guys to do an update. So let's do the update first. All right, so I finished the update. Now we can test out the product. So I'm gonna skip the installation phase right now because we're not installing anywhere. We're just using it right now to show you guys what it actually looks like and how it works. All right, so this is what the app looks like once you guys finish installing it and setting it all up. So right here, we do have the screen. And we see how it should move left and right. Because it actually has a smart detection on here to track the human detection, etc. You guys can turn it off and on based on your own preference. Right here, we do have the option for you guys to move it up, down, left, right for the camera option. So just like this. So you move that way or the other way. And up or down. But it's nothing for me to show you guys because it's set up on the table right now because it's kind of heavy. On the bottom, you guys have all the different options available. So you guys have a record option, a screenshot option, a speak option. And the way how you guys use the speak option is by pressing and holding it. You do have a 360 look around option, a mute button. And if you guys press this part up, you guys have all these other options as well. So they have an event option, an auto night vision option, a alarm option, tracking option, and you do have the collaborate option. And then right here, we do have the button for you to activate the light option. So you turn it off and on right there. And on the video, they show you guys like, the timestamp and the date as well. But let's click right here. You guys have the option to adjust all these different settings on here, like the motion detection, the light option, and so much more. And if you guys want to activate the voice assistant option, like Alexa or Google Assistant, you guys can tap right here. And click here again. And go right here. And you guys want to click on work with. You guys want to connect it to what you guys want to use. So for me, I already have a link and connect it onto Alexa, so I don't need to do that. But you definitely have those options available. And I don't see myself really using like the Alexa option, the voice assistant option, but you do have the option on here if you guys do want to. But let's test it out to see how it works. So it is kind of heavy, so bear with me when I actually carry it. So let's turn on the light first to show you guys what she looks like. All right, so I was able to test out the light option and it doesn't seem like it works unless you guys do have the cable plugged in. That's what I'm assuming. Because I tried using the app to actually turn on the light in different ways and it didn't turn on. So because I can't show you guys that test, we have to skip the light option. But the light option is supposed to work if you guys do plug in the cable properly. But if you guys notice on the bottom of the camera lens or the camera here, it is moving by itself, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to test out the recording on here to show you guys what it looks like when you guys do use it. All right, so I'm going to start recording myself from this point on. So that way you can hear what the audio sounds like on here as well. All right, so this is basically what the product sounds like and what it looks like when you guys actually use it. You can see it definitely looks and sounds pretty good. The video quality on here is actually pretty good even without the light option on. So I feel like if you guys do have the light option on, it'll look so much better. Especially once you guys do set it up, it should look pretty good. But here is a quick little test of what the product looks like and what it sounds like when you guys actually use it. So that is basically a quick little test to show you guys what the product looks like and what it actually sounds like when you guys do use it. Like I mentioned, the product does give you guys the option to do two-way audio. But when you guys do use it from a very close up point of view, it does have feedback. Let me show you what I mean real quick. So I have the device right here and I have my phone. Here I turn off volume. If I can hear this is what the product sounds like. So that way you can do the two-way audio on here if you guys do want to. And there's a slight feedback if I can hear. That is why I don't want to put too close. But when you guys do activate like the night vision on here, it definitely does work as well. So I'm gonna show you guys what the night vision looks like when you guys use it. So when I cover up the image right here, you can see what the image looks like. And once I let go, you can definitely see the night vision on here. All right, so that's a quick little sneak peek to show you guys what the product looks like if you guys do use the night vision option. So you definitely get like the floodlight option right here, but you also get the built-in night vision as well. And there's so many different options available for you guys on here, like the other specs and features that's on here as well. Like the voice control, the motion detection, the audio control, etc. You guys can customize how you guys want to once you guys do set it up. But the most important thing when you guys do set it up, you have to make sure everything is mounted on correctly. So that way the product won't fall down when you guys set it all up because it is a very heavy product. So I couldn't show you guys a quick test to show you guys the flat light option or the LED light option because I don't have the correct cable to actually plug in at the moment. But if you guys do have the correct cable and you guys know how to set it up, then it should be fine and the LED light option or the light panel should work. But that is everything that's on Pada. Not a good unboxing and testing Pada. Now the end question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality flat light camera. They give you guys like the light panel options so that way you can see everything in darkness. And also if you guys are trying to look for a security camera that's weatherproof and also give you guys the option to do a 360 point of view of the product to see everything all around, that do have to say that it's pretty worth it. But the obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or haven't one of these, they obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. 
So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.